Hello again. Welcome to another Sandfox tutorial. There are many exciting things that you can do within the contacts menu in Sandfox. In this video, I will explain the contacts dashboard, show you how to filter your contacts according to their status, show you how to edit your contact records, and walk you through the advanced search feature. You will find a timeline for each of these sections in the video description below. Ready? Log in to your Sendfox account. Click on Contacts. This is your Contacts dashboard. Here you will find your total number of contacts, the email addresses of your contacts, the engagement status, and the total number of emails they have opened or clicked. You can also check what email campaigns were sent to them by clicking on the number. Each orange text or number is clickable. You will also find the number of referrals they may have referred to you. The list column tells you what lists your contacts are subscribed to. Contacts may have one or more lists. If the list column is blank, that means they have not been added to any of your lists. This usually happens if you manually added your contacts in this menu. Search for a video in this channel to add contacts to your account and to a particular list at the same time. The source column tells you how your contacts were added into your Sandfox account. It is either via API, import, or via forms if they opted into a Sandfox form or a smart page. A blank source tells you that this contact was added manually. You can edit a contact record by clicking on this button next to the contact. Toggle the drop-down menu and select delete if you would like to delete the contact entirely. You have the option to manually add a contact record. Just remember that contacts added here will not be added to any of the lists you have in your account. To add a contact in your account and automatically add them to one of your lists, you will want to do that in the Lists menu. We have a separate video on this in our channel. Please check it out. In Sendfox, you can edit a contact record. That is if you would like to add a first name or a last name. To edit an existing contact record, you will need to have his or her email address. Search for the email address in the search bar. Click Edit, add a first name or a last name. Save the changes. That will have updated the record of the contact. Sendfox does not keep duplicate records. Contact records are based on their email addresses and if updated or even added again, Sendfox will just override the record of that email address. Now, let's filter your contacts. Toggle the drop-down menu here to select the filter you want to use. Select View All to view all of your contacts. Active subscribers to filter contacts that are new, active, and valid contacts. New subscribers are contacts that have recently opted in and have not engaged with you. This includes new imports and new opt-ins that have not confirmed their double opt-in emails. Inactive Contacts filters contacts that have been in your account but have not opened a campaign in the last 6 months. Choose Invalid Contacts to view contacts that are a no-go for sending, including those that have a record of bouncing or are inexistent. These are contacts you cannot send emails to. Unconfirmed Subscribers will show you your contacts that have been sent a double opt-in email but have not confirmed. These contacts will not receive any emails from you unless they confirm the subscription. Subscribers with referrals allows you to view contacts that have participated in your referral campaign. Please watch our video on referral campaigns in this channel for more information. Select Bounced Contacts to view contacts that have bounced. You cannot send emails to these contacts as well. They would have been automatically unsubscribed from you. You can export these filtered contacts if you wish. And while in a particular filter, you have the option to search for a contact. Just set the filter, type a keyword in the search bar, and press Enter. And now for the advanced search feature. Toggle the drop-down menu on the search bar and select Advanced Search. You will be taken to the Advanced Contact Search page. You have the option to add one or more conditions for your search. Select here to tell Sendfox to search contacts that meet all of your conditions below or just any one of them. Click the first field to select the first condition and choose Sent, Opened, Not Opened, Clicked, Subscribed, or Enlist. 
Send opened, not opened, and clicked conditions allow you to select a time frame, either one, three, or six months, or an email campaign in the subcondition here. Subscribed will only let you select a time frame. In list, on the other hand, lets you select what list your contacts have to be in. If you intend to only have one condition, proceed to the search button and click it. If you wish to have an additional criterion, click Add Criteria and fill out the necessary conditions. Review your settings for the search conditions if it's all or any before proceeding. If you're all set, click Search. Sendfox will then filter the contacts according to the conditions above. You can either send an email campaign to this segment by clicking Email Segment or download the CSV file to your computer by clicking Export. And that's it. I hope you learned something valuable today. For more information, visit our help section here or send us an email at support at sendfox.com. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to be the first to see our newest videos and tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.